Andy Cooper from RMS Motoring, and today I'm in Vegas, yes, which is just awesome. Yep. <laughs> and here with Patrick McCulloch, uh, Nazar on the forum, and of Auto Lifers fame. I guess so, that would be me. <laughs> and uh, actually, we're here with uh, your mate, also Andrew, Andrew Frizzell. Yep. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Andrew, and we are in uh, your place of work, which is Celebrity Cars, yes. Las Vegas, yep. which is friggin' awesome, all these amazing <laughs> amazing vehicles. Uh, we were also at Gears, Gears and Grinds earlier on and uh, met your friend Pete and had a look at his awesome... Uh, Group N Recce car, the Group, Subaru Impreza. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, so we'll... Uh, if you want to see that, look in a separate video, I'm sure it'll do a pop-out banner. People love to do those pop-out banner things. Yeah. But let, let's take a look around some of the cars we have around here. Uh, Andrew, you keep us right. This here's a 2002 build. So basically this is a replica of a 1965 uh, Shelby Cobra. This is professionally built by Superformance in California. It's beautiful. Uh, the, paint, yeah. the paint works gorgeous. Look at, look at this. Um, what, what's the deal with the... Uh, these, these are, so when the mechanic from the car would come in, this, this is the like axle. A lift, yeah, a lift the point. front and lift the rear. They can change the wheels and add fuel like, to the car. Lovely aero equip fittings and the oil cooler and rad and all. It's lovely. Um, it's this beautiful. one here is fitted with a 302 with a 5 speed Trimic gearbox. Look at that. So, it's just got over 300 horsepower. So that's, you know, part of the rate ratio. You know, it's a fiberglass frame or fiberglass body car. So, there's not a lot of weight to it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're selling this car right now for just over seventy-five grand. So, yes, seventy-five thousand US dollars. Yes, yeah. seventy-five thousand US dollars. So, if someone wants to look in behind their couch, see if they can dig out a few quid. That's that's incredible. Look at that! Look how slim the steering wheel is. Yeah. And these small seats. The, the cars of these gener this generation. You see a lot of cars in here with just very tiny little, little bucket, little tiny little seats. Yeah, like yeah. we half height seat. Yeah. So this is kind of. Period corrective back in those days. And a single, the single, single lower. yeah. You can add another one to it, obviously, you should if you're taking a. This Matt reminds maybe. me of what uh, Matt Damon was driving at the end of uh, uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Ford versus Ferrari. And actually, I, if I'm corrected, Super Performance uh, built those cars for the movie. All right, okay, yeah. yeah. So they, yeah. they built that kind of built the movie yeah. cars as well. Yeah. There's something else I want to look at too. Well, let, let's get super morbid because you need to see this awesome uh, black. 7 series here. So, correct me if I'm wrong, this was the car, Andrew, that Tupac Shakur... Yes, was shot in, um, and Suge Knight was on the other side of the driving the vehicle. It was just right behind the MGM Grand Hotel. Um, this happened in 1996, after the Mike Tyson fight. Um, unfortunately, Tupac passed away, I think, a week later in hospital yeah. with the gunshot wounds. But this is the car, this is the car that was leased on by Death Row Records. And uh, the car has a bit of a story. BMW fixed the car. Yeah. There was before Carfax and anything, you know, you, you could check the car. So they fixed it and resold the car again. And this person put a hundred and odd thousand miles on it. They didn't realize they're driving around a homicide car. <laughs> right down here, you can see where the bit of filler, that's one of the bullet holes there. So it's a little bit of a crack from gun, the filler. Gunshot uh, filler. <laughs> yeah. You know, this, you know, it is for sale. Price went up, it's 1.7 million on the website. 1.7 yeah. million. A lot of history of this look, car. Look at the shape of the wheels. Uh, well, he, he that, that picture was taken outside where the Cosmo is now. Yeah, look at this. Um, he tried to get away from the shooter, but and he, obviously, you know, got this stuff. he had to get away, so yeah. he obviously hit a few curbs, you know, on the way. Flip me. But, um, wrecked it. Flip, let's talk about this Camaro here. This is a, this is a Yanko Camaro. Um, it's not carbon, a carbon hood on it then, is it? Yes. Lacquered carbon. It's beautiful. Sorry, this is sorry for getting fingered. Oh, no, you're on fine. It. So this is a stage two car. It's got 1,100 horsepower. It's on, this is number four at a 50 build. Built. Um, you know, Yanko is a very special name without the, the GM slash Chevy community uh -huh. um, in the 70s. And he was a local tuner from Pennsylvania. Right. This only has 200 miles. The engine's not even broken. 200 miles on 1,100 brake? Yeah. That's fantastic. I love, love, the, uh, love the white e, E34 just, yeah. just, just dropped in there. Look, what, what, what's on those seats? I've never even seen that before. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to. We call this the, doc the doctor's car. <laughs> Check out the mats. Fantastic. It's in some shape. Yeah, no, it's excellent shape. Just over 80,000 miles. Yeah. It's a tuner car. 
Uh, started life in Colorado. Like, and of all the stuff in here, why am I, I looking at an E34? But just stuff like that's just uh, just um, cool. Uh, I love the, um, and look, we're gonna skip past the loads of amazing stuff here, because, we're gonna, but this uh, F100 yes. pickup, it's absolutely stunning. It's unreal. Unreal, so minimal inside as well. Yeah. Just, just a three up front. That's it. Cool, so cool. Mark 1 TT 3.2 V6. Is it a slush? It is a slush. <laughs> um, what about the SS? This is a, this is a Chevrolet Chevelle. It's a 454 big block. Um, you know, ultimate muscle car for, you know, 70s muscle car what, what, folk. What year is it? It's a 1970. Yeah, it's... Uh, we just sold this car. It's so cool. It's so cool. It looks like just something that would just uh, yeah, pop a, up on its back wheels. Yeah, it? it's got a 12 bolt rear end in it. It's, 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 this is just American muscle right here, you know? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> We've a couple of we've a couple of vets here, so we have a, a older yeah that's a vet. 2007 and then and then we have a 2015 of a 2015 Z06. I love I love the Z06. Yeah, it's a this one here is a LMR tuned car, so it's got just over 800 horsepower. Look, 800 brake. Look look at the carbon. Look at the lip. Yeah. And the yeah. sort of canner there and and the uh, okay it's it's a bit it's a bit blingmeister with the chrome, but that's the like Americans this, this love the chrome. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. It is beautiful. You'd look well going up Mall's Gap in this. <laughs> <laughs> the top down. Well, it's lovely. It is a nice car. All, yeah. all the, all the Very loud. Yeah, all the details. Uh, and incredible. It has Here, come on, come on, look at this. On, only in the only in the US. It's only in the US. You got a got a jar of NOS in there. Right, the nine six eight. Yeah, nineteen ninety four. Nine ninety four nine six eight. USDM. Uh, Bump. Is this, this is for like a, 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 is it a certain state or is that US No, wide? that's US, that's all so it's, so it's, that's across America. So that's what they call federalizing a car, yes, federal yes. spec, isn't it? You know, so yeah. you've got this all. They did it to my 5 Series, the, the, the spring bumpers, which look ridiculous. Yeah, and, I, and you see it in the back of like the 964 and all the back. Yeah, that, so. and even, even the Porsche at the back there it has the UF spec bumpers, it looks ugly. Yeah, yeah, but, know, but, but still, uh, still so cool, that's just, uh, just an iconic. Um, yeah. Obviously, those Stuttgart little those product. little bumper things are going to save your life. Yeah, <laughs> you know? well, we've got a uh, we've got a nine nine seven dot one in here. I know I'm, I'm, you're probably looking at the background of the image and saying, oh, "There's all this other cool stuff you're not seeing." But yeah, we like seeing the uh, stuff that we have at home, and it's just <laughs> it's just a wee bit different. Let let's see. Let's check out the. I need to check out the terrible back bumper bars. And that. Beautiful. This one is this one's a 2006, just over 34,000 miles on it. Yeah, so it's it's a dot it's a dot one of a first phase phase yeah, car. Yeah, we have the. Don't worry, the IMS bearing has been done. It's a three. <laughs> it's, it's it's a Carrera, so 3.6 then, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Still, they're still great cars. Sunroof model. Shit, stick shift, man. <laughs> it's got a stick. Um. Come on. Oh, we need to go and see the the Trevor. There's a Trevor here. Let's come and come and see the Trevor. Pontiac Firebird. Some of this stuff's unreal. A uh, 996 egg lighter convertible. Look, look at this. this. This is just class. So tell us about the um, Speed 12. So when, before the pandemic, um, these guys, Helical, came over for SEMA and they want to do a bunch of filming with this car. But unfortunately, it went through COVID. Yeah, um, the car's just kind of stored here, um, but it was built by the existing TVR mechanics. They got together and made this car. Um, that's, that's incredible. That's don't have a lot of information on it, unfortunately. You know what? What kind? You know, I, I believe Cosworth built the motor in this car. Okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. have a lot of you know. Does it have a Hewlin box? Does it have an X Track box? I'm not sure, but it's it's. Uh, it's it's actually still, it's actually still on its original. Uh, Plate yeah. here as well, a PU PU sixty seven. So this is a, this is basically you can't drive this on the road here. We consider it a display car here in the US. Yeah. Um. The center lock wheels and all, and mm -hmm. um, 
Oh, it's incredible. Like, they've done the work inside. Yeah. So, so this was something that was really at the very end of, uh, well, after TVR yes. died. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, it's what TVR could have done. It could have done, yes, yes. And yeah. Helix will make a lot of you know, systems for Ferrari yeah. and Lamborghini. And yeah. They're a big engineering firm in England. But it's, a lot of work it's, this car. There's the um, digital dash and all. And yes. Yeah. That's that's just beautiful. The the front end on it, the carbon, incredible. And yep. those sort of matte, those matte wheels are are awesome too. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else do we have? It's uh, Al Capone's 1928 bulletproof Cadillac. Oh wow. Um, we just we just walked past the Dodge Viper. <laughs> uh, very common car. Um, this here not at, is, not at home. It's not, but this uh, the, but this yeah. car is bullet. This car, you know, bulletproof glass and had armor-proof doors. And when it got restored in '82, the lead was taken out, like but the, it still has the th thickness of the glass. Like the thickness of that glass. And then uh, it's like four panes of glass. Yeah, he was a very smart man. Yeah, he, he was. obviously was looking over his shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, that's, uh, that's something else. Yeah.